Bristol is a beautiful, vibrant city in the southwest of England. Once a busy port town, Bristol is now a fashionable city renowned for its excellent arts and culture, first-class nightlife and entertainment, and brilliantly preserved historical architecture. The home of Banksy, Bristol is a mecca for street art, and the thread of artistic integrity and authenticity runs strongly through the city. If you are looking for a modern city rich with charm and character, Bristol is for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Bristol on a virtual tour, pointing out interesting features and landmarks, and telling you about all of the characteristics of some of the city's most inviting and fascinating areas. I'll start with Bristol Old City. Bristol Old City is, as you might expect, one of the most historic neighborhoods in Bristol. Lovers of historical architecture will enjoy wandering the lanes and back streets lined with buildings constructed throughout the various eras since Bristol's founding. Meanwhile, those who prefer indulging in modern culture and hospitality will find plenty of quirky shops and cafes to keep them entertained. We'll start off a little outside of the Bristol city centre, in the northwestern suburb of Clifton. This affluent neighbourhood is known for its independent shops and boutiques, high-end dining, and chic bars. But Clifton is more than just a fancy suburb, and there is plenty for visitors to see and do here. The most famous attraction in the area is the iconic Clifton Suspension Bridge. The bridge finished construction in 1864 and has stood as both a marvel of engineering and a major landmark ever since. Cotham is another of Bristol's affluent inner city suburbs, although rather less green than Clifton. Distinctly residential, there is little here in the way of sights and attractions, but it is just a short journey to Bristol city centre. This is an area for visitors looking for a quieter neighbourhood from which to explore Bristol without being constantly swamped by crowds. Just east of Broadmead, Old Market is another of the neighbourhoods that dates back to the time of the city's founding. Old Market in particular is so packed full of superbly preserved historic buildings that it has been designated as a conservation area of national significance. Broadmead is Bristol's modern city centre. A hub of multiple large shopping centres, connected by broad pedestrian-only avenues, this is the perfect area for anyone who wants to spend their vacation engaging in a bit of retail therapy. This area is for those who enjoy the contemporary shopping experience. If you are looking for independent boutiques and local craft stores, you won't be finding many of those here. Harborside gains its name from its past as the primary docklands for this once busy port city. In the modern day it is transformed into a thriving entertainment centre, boasting some of Bristol's top sites and attractions. One of the main attractions of both the area and the city as a whole is the magnificent Bristol Cathedral. Dating back to the 12th century, parts of the original structure and even furnishings still remain. The eastern section of the Redcliffe district is known as Temple Meads, or simply Temple. This area is home to Bristol's major train station Bristol Temple Meads, which dominates the south sector. There are several hotels immediately next door to the station. This is an ideal location for anyone travelling in and out of the city by train, who wants to minimise time wasted travelling between the station and your accommodation. Stokes Croft is one of the edgier, cooler neighbourhoods in Bristol. Just beyond the contemporary shopping hub of Broadmead, Stokes Croft and the smaller roads leading away offer an ungentrified alternative. This is the area to head to if you want to immerse yourself in the street arts and culture that Bristol has to offer. Bristol Airport is located a few miles southwest of the city. Bridgewater Road leads directly into the centre of Bristol, so it is fairly easy to get in and out. However, the distance means this is not an ideal location if you are hoping to spend multiple days exploring the city. The airport is surrounded by beautiful countryside, as well as a golf course and several campsites. It makes a decent option for those who enjoy spending time outside. Redcliffe is a large central district just across the water from the old city. The area includes the sub-district of Temples Mead, so visitors staying here have immediate access to Bristol's largest train station. With the old city to the west, Broadmead to the north, and Old Market to the east, it would be hard to pick a more convenient location. The north of the area is largely council building and offices, but the south has a leafy suburban vibe. Bristol is a wildly colourful city, blending a fascinating culture and history with a vibrant modern energy. There is plenty to love here, and by now you should be starting to understand why Bristol has an ever-growing fan club from across the UK and the world. All that's left is to experience it for yourself.